Alright, it's your boy Yordaru with another Survivio game. And we're just gonna check some things real quick. And we're dead. Alright. Okay, we're gonna actually play the game now. So, let's see. Where are we on the map? One of the first things you want to look at, right? So, there's some compounds. I'm not really too interested in the compounds, to be honest. Usually, if there's like more than 30 players alive then your only goal is to survive and pick up some loot off of that body sometimes because shit like this happens where you just get like kind of down by someone they have no interest in killing you other than boasting about their stats like they don't get any loot from it so they literally don't get anything but this is just going to happen it's a part of the game and people are going to chase you down and spend their in-game time not trying to pursue their own victory, but just 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 looking for a kill, right? Like they want to kill, and that's it. Like, and you can't do anything about that because it's going to happen to other players as well. It's just a fact of life, and you should just guard yourself in such a way that it's not going to uh, it, it's going to happen less to you than to other players. All right. Well, that's a pill. And some weapons, so we're actually off to a good start this time. And actually, some extra boxes that are just unopened, so... Really good start this game. Let's see... It's always a conundrum, because obviously ammo is an issue this game. If someone doesn't move at all, I'll just kill them, even though it costs a little bit of ammo. Because that's just, you know... Like, it's it's it, it doesn't give you anything, but the question is, why are you playing the game? There's no preset rule that victory is the only objective right and there's also no let, let me look at that in the replay because that's actually really interesting right so if we look at this this guy so here's what happened someone spawns and i'm like okay i can kill it someone else spawns right in the same square within the same square i both players spawn, look at what's happening, and the first thing they do is come towards me and try to kill me. Look at this. Boom. They both, boom, come in, try and kill me. Boom, 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 boom. Just punch, 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 punch. What can you do about that? That's just called RNG, right? Like, this, that's gonna happen like once every, I don't know, 2,000 games maybe. It's not gonna happen a lot, I can tell you that much. In games like this, it's like, what what do I do, right? Like, I just get shot by someone. The moment I spawn, right? I spawn, and I'm getting shot. It's like... And there are players who have incredible win rates. And I'm not sure. I haven't seen them on YouTube or anywhere else. I just haven't seen them play yet. Because I do not know how you can win half of your games. Given that stuff like this just happens, right? Like, there's little you can do about it. I do not see how that's possible. I can see how you could win more games than I do. I see potential room for improvement. But I do not see how you could win half your games. The only w one way, one exploit that I can think of is teaming. And the second exploit I can think of is using dummy accounts just to like scout how far the game has progressed and only picking very new games so that you get the very best loot. Because if I can get a level 2 helmet and, and fast and some good weapons and uh, adrenaline, right? All that good stuff. Like, obviously I'm going to be able to kill literally everyone who is not extremely good at the game, right? You would need a huge uh, advantage in terms of skill level to somehow beat that. So, I'm not sure what they use. Those are the two things I can think of already. But maybe maybe there's something else that I'm missing, right? Maybe there's a strategy I haven't seen. This guy's not been moving, so I'm just going to kill him. Alright. Okay, well, that gives us some ammo to defend ourselves. Don't be fooled, though. So... When you have no armor like this, it's just completely... You just get shredded by an AK-47. And you get one shot by anything, right? This guy actually had armor, level 1 vest. He probably almost died. Yeah, 
he did not do well there. Maybe I shouldn't have used my mech that quickly, right? I don't think that engage was very good. I should have probably sought protection and started using my bandages. Alright, where are we at? Just routing the boxes, but seems like most of them are taken. Even though there were only 30 players alive and still going up. Alright. I don't know if this guy picked up loot. Because if he did, I need to kill him and get that loot. Alright. Guy's gonna try and punch me, but... To no avail. Well, the compounds are very, very busy right now. Oh! And obviously people can always hide out close to it just to see if they can pick anything up. Any strategy you can use, someone else can use as well, right? There's nothing there that uh, you can... It's like anything you do can be noticed by other players, right? It's very hard to do something that other players can't pick up on. Good players, that is. Obviously the majority might not realize it, but some players are going to say, Hey, that's a good strategy. I'm going to use that too. Alright, so I just need to get the hell out of here. And just use my bandages to heal up and really want some some loot, right? I want better weapons and some ammo. Because otherwise I have no chance of fighting in the late game. Alright, so first just grab this. It's the most important thing. Alright, he was he he was slowed down by something. I don't know what he was taking, but I'm surprised that I couldn't kill him in spite of that. So we just have to run away because this guy can kill us with one more hit. And it is not looking good for us. I have to say it's not looking good at all. I really hope that we're going to get some better luck sometime because Right now, it's just like I'm not able to do anything, right? It's like, new game, 36 life. Alright, well, obviously most of these people that have never moved are AFK, so... You don't get any loot. Alright, that's an AK-47. Little bit of lag there, but not enough to screw that up. Okay, well... I actually got a weapon this time, but no health. Maybe I should use some... I'm gonna use the adrenaline and just roll with it. And we'll see if we get more adrenaline, but... I, I, I don't believe that I can do something otherwise and look for loot, look for kills. If I can actually look for kills, the loot I'll get might just be able to be enough. Right? Just like this. I have bandages now, I have another soda. That's good. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Right, when you have a decent setup early game, but not everything you want for late game, that's when you want to start hunting for people and start trying to kill them. Right. Boom. That actually worked. I can't believe it. That's pretty cool, right? That's a pretty cool trick. They they did that on purpose, right? The idea is that you can blow this thing up. And if someone stays in the house, they just get killed. So the house is give you a very full sense of security, really, because those walls don't do anything against that explosion. So you just get insta-killed. Not very safe. None of, none of the things, none of, 
nothing was really giving safety other than the rocks, the trees, and, and that, that's really just it. Like, obviously, you're gonna get cover from uh, the, the brushes, but that's just a gamble, because you can still see through it if you just look closely enough. So it just makes you makes it harder to see, but not impossible to see. Something like this is like I I really wouldn't be able to tell. Ah, here's someone. Can't believe I actually didn't kill him with that. Wow, that is a lot of loot. Sometimes you just can't pick up the thing you want to pick up, and then it's just so awkward. Just have to wait for these things to bounce around. Well, good loot, bad player. So that's really advantageous, obviously, if you can get that situation. This is looking really good. I have pretty much everything I need. Oh, there's two people shooting me. Doesn't matter. They aimed pretty poorly, I think. Oh, there's a, someone else. On the left side. That, don't think I'm gonna pick up the DP. It's DPS and spread are worse than the AK, if I'm not mistaken, at least. All right, that's a times eight. That's pretty cool. And another soda. Like this is this is going great. Oh, that's a little bit early for the soda, actually. No reason to waste it. You don't know how long this is gonna extend, right? I mean. Uh, now I think about it, it's a little bit silly, but I could use the level 2 helmet, by the way, but it's not like I absolutely need it to survive. It would just be a nice addition, right? So, 2 alive, and I see this player, oh, he has a times 8 as well. He's trying to shoot that barrel. Plenty of ammo. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He definitely has the better armor. Oh, that's it. I actually won a game. That took me like five or six games, but that's it. We, we got into a game, got some decent loot, didn't make massive screw-ups, had decent decision-making, capture had cool, right? And actually everything worked out fine. I think that's beautiful, right? This game, sure you can team up, sure you can go for like uh, scouting with with other accounts, right? I just open up an incognito window, go survivio, and just you know, oh whoops, wrong server, right? And I can see, oh, there's twenty live. I guess this is this is something I should get into, right? But that's not really what the game is about, right? That's just bolstering your stats for the sake of bolstering your stats. This is how the game's supposed to be played, in my opinion. Free for all and just click play. That's it. And if you do that, I I don't know how much better you can be, but this is like a really fun way to play the game. Right, that's it for this one, guys.